Today, let's talk about insertion sort, a simple and intuitive sorting algorithm that's perfect for understanding the basics of sorting. The core idea of insertion sort is to divide the array into two parts, a sorted part and an unsorted part. Then, one by one, we take an element from the unsorted part and insert it into its correct position in the sorted part. It's just like organizing playing cards in your hand. When you pick up a new card, you insert it into the right spot among the cards you've already arranged. Let's see how this works with an example. Imagine we have the array 20, 2, 12, 6, 25. We start with the second element, 2, because in insertion sort, the first element, 20, is considered already sorted. First, we compare 2 with 20. Since 2 is smaller than 20, we shift 21 position to the right and place 2 in front of it. The array now looks like 2, 20, 12, 6, 25. Next, we process 12. We compare it with 20. Since 12 is smaller than 20, we shift 20 to the right. Now we compare 12 with 2. This time, 12 is larger, so we don't need to move 2. We insert 12 between 2 and 20, resulting in 2, 12, 20, 6, 25. Then, we handle 6. Using the same process, we move 20 and 12 one position to the right, since they are both larger than 6. Next, we insert 6 between 2 and 12. The array becomes 2, 6, 12, 20, 25. Finally, we process 25. Since 25 is larger than 20, no elements need to be moved, and it stays in its current position. The array is now fully sorted. 2, 6, 12, 20, 25. And that's insertion sort in action. Now let's look at the Java implementation of insertion sort. In the insertion sort function, we use a variable called key to hold the element we want to insert. Then, we use a while loop to compare this element with the elements on its left. If an element is larger than key, we shift it one position to the right. Once we find the correct position for key, we insert it. This process continues until all elements have been sorted. Now let's talk about the complexity of insertion sort for an array with n elements. In the best case, when the array is already sorted, insertion sort only needs n-1 comparisons, giving it a time complexity of on. In the worst case, when the array is sorted in reverse order, it requires many comparisons and shifts, resulting in a time complexity of O of n squared. On average, the time complexity is also O of n squared. The space complexity of insertion sort is O1 because it's an in-place sorting algorithm. It doesn't require extra memory, which makes it very efficient in terms of space.